Okay, David, so 2 1 win today against Kendall Town. Thoughts on the game overall? I thought we controlled the game. I thought we were good. Um, apart from maybe the final third, a little bit more quality in the final third, a little bit better execution, I think the game would have been much comfier. I thought we were by far the better side. And uh, if it clicks, when it clicks, I think we'll, we'll really turn somebody over. Do you feel like there were spells in that second half where there was a couple of really slick moves where you just felt like it was starting to click together? He's starting, he's coming. Yeah. I just think it's when we're getting that last 25, 30 yards, some of the, the last ball, the final ball, the execution is just, just not quite coming off, but it will. Uh, Anthony Brown forced off in the first half yeah. to injury. Any? Armstring again, it's just a little bit of a weak spot. We, we trained well Thursday, so we thought he was ready, but, but it's just that same thing. So. Yeah. Um, Bites the drawing board with that, I think we just reassess it probably another couple of weeks and just, just need to get that strength and properly. Yeah. Uh, and on the flip side, Kane Hickman back in the team today and put in a really, well obviously come off the bench, but really strong performance. And, that, and that's the thing, you know, Kane, Kane trained Thursday as well, trained well, but we didn't want to disrupt the midfield because he thought he'd done so well in Newcastle. But then he, he had to come in after 10 minutes and, and he did what Kane Hickman does. Um, apart from giving a penalty away, it's not normally what Kane Hickman does. But the work rate, the breaking things down and then the quality of the ball to, to set us forward. And two goals today, so first both both players haven't scored for Mosley before, so first of all, Kane Dean, happy for him to get nice the first goal. He, the lad's got so much energy, he's up and down all the time, and you were thinking it's only a matter of time, and you know, for your left back to be the, the player arriving two yards out to put in that cross, kind of is, is what Kane Dean's all about, the energy to go and get on the end of something. Um, so it's great for him just chatting to him then, and you can see how happy it means to, you know, what it means to score that goal. And then, in exactly the same way, Harry Pratt, big goal for him today. Huge, so he's got some monkey off his back. I've said for a long time, Harry just needs a scruffy one. He needs to, just needs something to go in for him. I actually think he's been superb for the last two or three games. He's been he played as a nine, which he doesn't really like. It's not his, it's not his preferred position. And done well, he's played out wide and done well. And in, and in training, he, he scores goals for fun. And it's not quite doesn't quite come off in games. And I'm hoping that just just gives him that confidence boost. And he might just kick on now because he he's got everything you need to be a top class footballer at this level. So um. It's another game, it's one, one game lost since the beginning of the season. Yeah. You've got to be pleased with that start to the season. I am, I'm very pleased. I'm pleased with the, the character of the players. So the response to conceding what I thought was a scruffy goal, we looked a bit panicked, we gave away a silly free kick, we need to defend it well before the penalty. Um, but the response to that was to come to the end and score. And it's that belief and that character and that togetherness that we've got in the squad. And, I genuinely feel like we, we will lose games, but actually I think there's enough enough about the squad that they can bounce back from it this season, which which I don't think we had necessarily last season. Um, with the pandemic, it was hard. It was hard to build that team spirit, but it really feels like we've got it right this year. You have to be pleased with the defence holding up. Uh, it's probably been two or three games towards the end of the well towards the last few weeks where we've had to really sort yeah. of fight back and hold it against big onslaughts, and they've done it again today. We have, and, and I think you summed up. The, Long free kick into the box, and Dale Latham comes and catches it on, it on his penalty spot, um, and then volleys it forward when he. I want him to fall over and take the take the pressure, um, which he recognised himself. But you know, Dale comes and takes things, and, and he's calm. Um, a word for Paul Riley as well, who, who was unlucky to miss out with change shape. Um, but Paul was superb today. I don't think he lost a header. Uh, he was calm in possession, and then Devon, you know, he's a 21 year old who plays like a 35 year old. He's different class, he's, he's, he's getting harder and harder now as we have players back to, to pick teams, we even pick the 16 because they're all so good and they've all added so much and contributed so much so far this season, it, it's tough to leave people out but we're going to have to start making some of those decisions soon. And then on to Trafford on Tuesday, looking yeah. forward to that one? I really am, I've watched Trafford a couple of times, I am, at D, DC's put together a really good squad there, very similar to us, a couple of really good experienced lads, some exciting young players. Um, not surprising that we're fishing the same pond. There were a couple of players that I was trying to bring in in the summer that went there, and I'm sure there were a couple that came here that, that Danny was trying to get. Uh, they play football, they get it down, they zip it around. It will be a, it will be a good, I think, a really good advert for the Northern Premier League with two sides who want to play, and it could be a really exciting night. But we, we've got players coming back, which is helpful. So some headaches in terms of selection, but I think we, I think we'll be strong, and it'll be a, it'll be a tight one. But I think we've got enough in the, enough to, to, to win that game. Well done for saying thanks, David. Thanks, Nathan.